It's no surprise that motherhood is a blessing, but can we talk about the challenges? Every mom in the world has a story to tell. She's just waiting on someone to be nosy enough to ask her about it and actually really listen to what she says. My name is Jackie Jackson, and I'm a former pediatric nurse turned stay-at-home, homeschooling mom of four, and documentary photographer specializing in motherhood photography. I am the host of the Real Motherhood Podcast with Jackie Jackson, a show for the everyday mom who is ready to be seen and heard in her day-to-day thoughts, feelings, and experiences in motherhood without judgment, so she can confidently, intentionally, and boldly unburden the heavy places in her heart and be in community with and encourage and support other moms to do the same. Each week, I share the things that bump around in my mind all day and night, and I also have conversations with regular everyday moms who are the experts in their motherhood with the goal to unveil the truth in motherhood. We've all heard and used the word daughter. We all know what it means. But have you ever stopped to think about what it means to you? What it means to the people around you? How it affects you in motherhood? How it affects you just as a woman? This episode, I'm sharing all of my thoughts on the word daughter. Here we go. Daughter. A noun. A girl or woman in relation to either or both of her parents. Relation, a noun, a person who is connected by blood or marriage, a kinsman or kinswoman. The way in which two or more concepts, objects, or people are connected, a thing's effect on or relevance to another. I had never realized that I wasn't aware of what this word meant or how to be one daughter. To be fair, the intentional thought never entered my mind until I was in a room full of women and someone spoke on it. What does it mean to be a daughter? A lower status? A bunch of action words? Doing what someone told you to do? Following instructions? Being good? Getting good grades? Becoming successful? Obedient? never getting in trouble, picking up the slack, always doing what is right, being related to someone as a female child. Is it what you are or what you become? In my case, it's what I am becoming. The level of impact this simple word has had on my heart and mind now is beyond what I could have imagined. It's a key that is unlocking so many doors that I didn't know existed. Doors that needed to be opened. Now I see. In order to become a better mother, I have to learn how to become a daughter. Not to my earthly parents, but to my Father in Heaven. The windows are dirty and straight. I can't look through them to see myself nor to see Him. But the light that shines down through the perfect glass, from above, has found me. I see where I have to erase the lies and see the truth as he shows it to me. As he says it, all of the negative and natural imperfections from where I've planted my feet were hindering my sight. Discovering my position from his eyes, from the top down, is very different from what I have ever experienced. I am not all the things said to me. I am not all the things said of me. I'm not a mistake. I am not the disappointment of a dream. I am not the consequence of a choice. I am not too much for him. I am loved and cherished. I am adored and treasured. I can be a child. I can struggle under gentle hands and grow with soft correction. I don't have to grow up too soon. 
I am right where he wants me to be. He will never send me away or leave me. I am never alone. I am safe. I can trust him. I can trust him. I can trust him. Learning who I am to my father is a long-awaited experience. I wish I'd had it sooner. I have daughters that now, through this journey, I have a different heart for. How could I have ever really led them without knowing this for myself, for them? They have had something like an orphan child shepherding them to this point, piecing together a dream. Learning and understanding more about being a daughter of the king refreshes and ignites my soul, and still I know I have only scratched the surface. Layer by layer, toe by toe, outstretched arms. I am not a mom first. I am his daughter. Thank you so much for hearing my heart on this episode of The Real Motherhood. I really appreciate you. I pray that you connected with me somewhere within this piece or you're able to share it with a mom friend who might enjoy it. If you're ready to get real yourself or hear how it all goes down for other moms, I invite you to listen in to mom Size episodes released every Sunday by going to JackieJackson.com and clicking the podcast link. Hear how me and moms around the world are experiencing motherhood and placing our vulnerability out in the open. Until next time, I see you and I hear you.